Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at one of the most recent releases by the company Dua Fragrances. This one is an original creation and it's called Tartness of Vanilla, so make sure to stay tuned. begin my fragrance review of Tartness of Vanilla by Dua Fragrances, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. So here we have one of the brand new releases by the company Dua Fragrances. You guys know that they pretty much at this point release new fragrances every single weekend. And in addition to doing hybrids and inspired expressions, they also have original creations that they put out from time to time. I saw the note breakdown for this one, which Masam, the CEO of the company, shared with me privately prior to the launch of the fragrance. And it just sounded amazing and and I love gourmand fragrances. So I was looking at lemon peel, Madagascan vanilla, chocolate. It's like 85% cacao, if I remember correctly. Musk, a few floral ingredients like Turkish rose, but mostly it is a gourmand fragrance with accents of almond and praline, vanilla, citrus. It's really awesome. And so I said I would love to review that given the opportunity. And of course, he sent me this bottle. But despite the fact that it was sent to me for review, all opinions will remain my own. I'm really excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance and let you know how it ranks up against other gourmands that I have in my collection. But let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So here's the box for the fragrance. Of course, if you've seen one, you've seen them all just has the Arabic writing here in the front. You have the concentration Extrait de Parfum written on the side. And then the back has the size, the concentration, and all of your ingredients. There's a little description on the company here on the left-hand side. Feel free to pause your screen if you'd like to read it. And the bottle sits in here on the right. And the bottle for this one just has this graphic of citrus fruits on the opening, specifically orange. And it kind of gives off a vibe of how it's going to smell very citrusy and vanillic. You have the name of the fragrance written on the side here as well. The cap for this fragrance does click into place very securely, so you can pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. Now, as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get a heaping dose of that vanilla that is mentioned in the name of the fragrance. And it is a very rich sort of gourmand vanilla. You sense a little bit of that almond that's in there, just giving it that nice sort of tart and slightly bitter quality. But I feel like the citrus really makes this fragrance. And so you have that lemon peel in the opening, kind of smells like vanilla and lemon cake. It has that gourmand vibe about it, and it definitely smells like 100% edible, especially when you consider the praline note as well. But really, it's that texture of the smooth vanilla that you're going to get in the base, but that combination of citrus fruits that I think create a nice disparity from the vanilla. Now, when you think about it, the citrus ingredients are in the top of the perfume, right? So they're the first ones that you're going to get a whiff of, the first ones that are really going to attack your senses, if you will. Now, in the base of the perfume is where you're going to get that gourmand richness with the resins and the sweet notes, the vanilla, uh, the woods and the musk and whatever else might be lingering in here. And so you have that direct contrast between those two ingredients, but I think that that's what really makes this perfume. And it also goes without saying with a name like tartness of vanilla, it's not really the vanilla that's tart, it's the citrus that's tart, especially with that emphasis on the lemon, but the combination of the citrus and the vanilla creates a really nice juxtaposition that I think makes you appreciate the company of those two um, 
separate identities or personalities within the perfume. This kind of reminds me of whenever I used to visit like Atelier Cologne and I used to take Orange Sanguine, which is their orange-based fragrance, and I used to layer it with Vanille and Sensei, and the end result would be like an orange creamsicle. And I always enjoyed, you know, layering those two fragrances and creating that combination for myself. And here, it's like somebody took the guesswork out of it and created a fragrance that does just that. It has the citrusy opening with a sweet, decadent vanilla base. And it's really accommodating. I find that it's really addictive. And it's one that I can see you getting a lot of positive attention while you're wearing. Especially if you're a fan of fragrances like Lira by Zerzhov, formerly known as Casa Morati. That one also, if I remember correctly, has this bright, you know, orangey or citrusy introduction with a vanillic base. Also, Sweet Redemption by Killian. If you're familiar with that one, Love by Killian is another one that kind of falls within this territory. So this one is awesome. I am really enjoying this one. And for an original creation, it doesn't quite remind me of anything else that I've smelled out there. And so I like the fact that there is that level of originality and uniqueness and creativity behind these blends that you're probably not going to get in their inspired expressions because that's exactly what they are. They're inspired expressions, right? But all in all, in terms of a gourmand fragrance, this is pretty much what I'm looking for in a gourmand. I I want something sweet. I want something unapologetic. I want something that's going to turn heads and get people's attention. And because of its long lastingness, I feel like when you do wear this fragrance, you are going to get people to turn and look in your direction because it's quite a potent fragrance at the same time. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is definitely a unique fragrance. Although there are other citrus and vanilla combinations on the market, this one I feel like has more of an emphasis on the tart qualities in the opening, specifically the lemon, but I like the addition of the almond, the praline, the very subtle Turkish rose that you're gonna find in here as well, not making it overly floral or anything like that. As a matter of fact, it kind of recedes to the background. And so you're going to get most of that vanilla and lemon that's in here. And so if you like either one of those notes, this is a no-brainer, very unique, and it is um, very appealing, you know, in terms of the overall smell. It's not challenging. It doesn't, you know, push the envelope or anything like that. The longevity on this one is eight plus hours. This is Extrait de Parfum concentration. The projection is fantastic for the first two hours of application, and it didn't really start to sit closer to the skin until about that seven hour mark. And so while it's on you, you will be able to perceive it. I, for one, did not become anosmic to this one, so I have been enjoying this one through and through. I've had it in my hands for about four or five days now, so thank you for the early delivery on this one, or the early shipment, I should say. In terms of the versatility, you have to be a fan of gourmand perfumes. And so if you're looking for something bright and fresh and appropriate for the office, this is probably not it, but if you're looking for something to wear at nighttime, maybe in a clubbing environment, party environment, if you're looking for something to wear just when you want to feel romantic, I think this one could work really well with the vanilla and the rose. It does kind of give off that romantic vibe about it as well. And I think that this one is great as a unisex fragrance. I don't think it leans either masculine or feminine, and colder weather is probably going to fare a little bit better for this one. And then last up, in terms of the presentation, you you guys know my thoughts. I've reviewed a bunch of fragrances from Dua in the past. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of vanilla or citrus and you don't mind those two ingredients combined with one another, it goes without saying that you should absolutely get your nose on tartness of vanilla. You are going to get that tart quality on account of the lemon, thus giving it this lemon vanilla pie vibe. But you're also going to get this gourmand Madagascan vanilla base, which I think is very rich in texture or factory texture and i think it's a great combination so there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate your viewership that was my review of tartness of vanilla by dua fragrances an original creation from the brand if you own or have tried any of their fragrances especially their original creations let me know what you think leave a comment down below also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you're new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, all you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And once again, please remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you next time.